W Peeps, it is your boy Glenn Lawrence, and I am back with another review for Disney's Cruella. You may be asking yourself, why is he whispering? Well, my wife's in the back sleeping, and that's how we got to do it so we don't get strangled like Cruella would do if you woke her up. Uh, they're taking us back. They're taking us back to our childhood. 101 Dalmatians, Cruella DeVille, all these childhood memories we had. Uh, and I can't say enough about it. I really liked it. Now, I want to start and I'm going to try to avoid spoilers. But if you haven't seen it, I recommend checking it out uh, because I don't know what a spoiler is for everyone. So I'm just going to be saying some things and hopefully it will be things that you haven't seen and don't spoil it for you. Uh, you can check out Cruella. It's in theaters on Friday. Uh, you can stream it on Disney+. Plus. Uh, so there you go. Go check it out wherever you can. Now, first up, liked it. Loved it. Looked great. Shot very well. Very stylistic. Um, I love the look of the film. Um, so that's a super plus. Uh, I noticed there's a lot less songs from the original, if memory serves correctly. Um, where most Disney films are kind of carried by their music, this film is carried by its fashion. I know they had the one Cruella de Vil song, Cru Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. But what they don't have in music, they make up for in fashion. I feel like uh, fashion pushes this movie forward more so than the songs, which I liked. I enjoyed it. They even had the little Hunger Games thing where like the dress goes up in flames or whatever and it reveals the new person, which I think was top notch. It was kind of borrowed from that scene. You know, it borrows from a few things, but that's to be expected. I still liked it. Um, it starts off with Cruella. We get to see her as her childhood. Disney's doing this thing where they re-explore all the past, uh, the, the past, um, uh, entities that they have or the past uh, properties that they have and they explore like the villain's backstory they did it with Maleficent and now they're doing it with Cruella I liked it I mean it's kind of cool I think this falls in like the top tier of their live action remakes that they've done so far so um I thought it I thought it was cool the acting was great uh what we're talking about is the battle of the Emmas it's Emma Stone versus Emma Thompson Emma Thompson is amazing as a baroness she's 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 just She's really good. Uh, it gives me like that feel of Devil Wears Prada, Meryl Streep. I, I, I dig it. Um, but Emma Stone is a killer as like the young upstart, uh, a meaner Anne Hathaway. You know what I'm saying? Um, I really, really liked it. Uh, they even got, she even got the part down, Emma Stone did, where Cruella's driving the car and she's doing the whole wheel like that. So, you know, um, I thought it was cool. I really liked the part where... <laughs> in the factory and uh the baroness nicks her she's like ow and then the baroness is like why are you talking that i just thought that was uh that was really really great i mean the acting was dope in this um oh speaking of acting the dog actors they were amazing they weren't just like cute cutaways that they usually do these were actual supporting dogs bravo to the whoever the dog trainers were like the dogs were on point in this film i can't say enough with it um I did think it was weird, though, that the Dalmatians were vicious this time. You know, like Purdy and Pronto, uh, they were the Dalmatians and 101 Dalmatians, and you don't realize that their parents were like, you know, gangsters, you know what I mean? Uh, they were like muscle for the mob or Baroness Bones or whatever you would say, I don't know. Um, it was really kind of quick. There was a lot of, like, jumping to murder in this, which was kind of weird for the fashion world, I thought, but who knows? I don't know. Um... What else? What else? Oh, the whole cast. Great. Emma Thompson. Amazing. Emma Stone. Also amazing. Uh, Kirby Howell Baptiste. Very good. Mark Strong. Paul Walter Hauser. Uh, Joel Fry. And directed by Gray, uh, Craig Gillespie. I hope I said that right. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the film. I don't know if you could tell by uh, my you know talking to you here i really liked it i think everybody did um a great job um i could tell i liked it because it was late and i stayed up and watched it you know what i'm saying and i'm old so anytime i could stay up past 11 o'clock with a movie and like really get into it that means it's a good movie that's my new barometer it's a it's a it's a 12 o'clocker is what we'll call it it's a midnighter like that might maybe that'll be our rating system like if it gets you up past midnight then you then you watch it and it's and it's good it's like ah oh, that's a snoozer that's a real nooner maybe that'll be our rating system i don't know tell us what you think our rating system should be uh like 
comment down in the section below uh, the comment section where you can tell us what you think um maybe give us a new rating system if you want to do that also make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification so you can get updated every time we're posting a review or something like this because we like to make sure that you nerds stay up on all the latest pop culture now that's it for me i'm glenn lawrence uh, i really enjoyed it i give it a it's a midnighter it's a good one. I really, really enjoyed it. You should go check it out. Uh, it's streaming uh, on Disney Plus, and then it's out in theaters on Friday. So there you go. That is my review for Cruella. Go check it out. I give it a midnighter. <laughs> Thanks for peeping it.